The welds used in the connection shown is E70 electrodes. The weld leg size is W equals 6.35 millimeters and the plate thickness is 10 millimeter. The material strengths of the plate are FY equals 248 megapascal and F sub U equals 400 megapascal. Which of the following most nearly gives the effective throat thickness? So when we say effective throat thickness, that is 0 0.707 of the weld size. Okay, so let us substitute 0 0.707 times the weld size which is 6.35 we have that is 4.48945 millimeter okay and that is letter b okay next which of the following most really gives the allowable strength of the weld per unit of leg okay so we have solved this already before no so the nominal strength for the weld is FMW times AWE. FMW is the, the stress for the weld and then A sub WE is the area of the weld. So FMW that is equal to 0 0.6 FEXX times 1 plus 0 0.5 sine raised to 1.5 of theta. Substitute natin. 0 0.6. Ang electrodes natin is E70, no? So, it means that the stress is 70 KSI. So, i-convert nyo lang yan papuntang megapascal. So, 1 KSI is 6.9 megapascal. So, therefore, this is equal to 483 megapascals. Okay? Then, 1 plus 0 0.5 sine raised to 1.5. The value of theta is zero kasi ang welds natin is longitudinal. So meaning, the angle between the force applied and the axis of the welds is zero. So zero lang yan. So therefore, the value of F sub NW equals 289. Hindi ko na kinompute yung sine theta kasi ang sine ng zero degrees is zero din. No? Kaya hindi ko na nilagay. So, 289.8 megapascals. Okay, then substitute lang natin. R sub N equals 289.8. Area of the welds is simply the length of the weld times the throat thickness. So, nakuha na natin before yung throat thickness. That is 4.48945. And then, since we are considering per unit length of the weld, so magkakonsider lang tayo ng 1 millimeter length. That is 1,301.04261 newton per millimeter. Okay? And that is letter B. Next, which of the following most nearly gives the allowable value of P that can be applied based on the yielding on gross area of the plate? PN equals FY times AG. Anong FY natin? Ayan, nakalagay 248. Tapos, gross area. The cross section is a rectangular plate. So, yung width, makikita nyo yan sa figure. No? So, the width of the plate, ito, 100. So, pag tinignan mo yan sa cross section, ganyan yung dimension niya. No? 100 by the thickness the plate thickness is 10. Ayan. So, ang gross area is simply 100 times 10. Therefore, the nominal strength is simply 248 times 100 times 10. So, that is 248,000 newton. Okay? 248 kilonewton. Ayan. So, for the allowable value of P, so meaning ang gagamitin natin is ASD. So, as you can see in the figure, the demand is simply P. P is the demand to get the allowable value of the force. Ini-equate natin ang demand sa capacity. So, the demand is P and then the capacity is 248. But of course, we have to divide this by the factor of safety based on yielding on gross area. So, 1.67 yun. So therefore, the allowable value of P is 
148.502994 kN. And that is letter D. Next. Which of the following most nearly gives the value of P that can be applied based on the tensile rupture of the plate? Yeah. Based on the tensile rupture ng plate. Yeah. For the tensile rupture, diba, the formula is P sub N equals FU times AE. Ang AE natin is U times AN. And then kapag welds, ang AN is equal to AG kasi nga walang hole. No? So, that is U times A sub G. Ayan. So, kailangan lang natin makumpute si U. So, the formula for the shear lag factor to be used is what is? So, case 4. Basahin natin yung case 4. Plates, angles, channels. So, ang problem natin is plates. So, pasok na siya agad sa case 4. And then, confirm natin. With wells at heels, T's, and W shapes. With connected elements. Where... The tension load is transmitted by longitudinal welds only. Transmitted siya by longitudinal welds only. And katulad ng problem natin. And actually, kung titignan nyo yung example, parang ito talaga yung problem natin. No? Hindi lang pantay. Yung dito sa figure kasi hindi lang pantay yung length ng welds. So ito yung ating shear lag factor to be used. So we have U equals... 3L squared over PL squared plus W squared times 1 minus X bar over L. Value of the L based on the figure that is 100. The value of W is also 100. How about X bar? So, baka hanapin nyo to sa database. Wala sa database ang mga plate. So, iisipin nyo kung ano x bar. So, drawing nyo yung cross-section niya. So, diba, ito yung ating plate, tapos connected siya sa gasset plate. So, dapat hindi nyo kalimutan yung definition ng x bar. So, diba, definition natin ng x bar, distance from the center of gravity ng cross-section papunta dun sa plane of connection. So, ang plane of connection is this interface. So, gano'n daw kalayo yan. Yan yung ating x bar. Okay? O, oh, for a plate, di ba, this is simply a rectangle. Nasaan ba ang center of gravity ng rectangle? Okay, so the center of gravity of the rectangle is dito lang mismo sa gitna, no? So, if the thickness is 10, so therefore, x bar is simply 10 over 2, which is 5 millimeters. Okay? So, substitute natin. So, this is 5. So, we can now compute for the shear lag factor. 3 times 100 squared over 3 times 100 squared plus 100 squared times 1 minus 5 over 100. So, let us compute the shear lag factor. That is 0 0.7125.